so I look like a hot mess. It has been a long week. It's been a long couple weeks and this pregnancy is full lying. I honestly feel like I just, I don't even know where the time has gone. I just hit 11 weeks yesterday and I haven't done a eight week, nine week, 10 week or 11 week update. So I am slacking majorly and I just keep thinking when the baby gets here, it's not going to get any better. So I'm not going to be like most channels on YouTube where mom is all dressed up and all glam and look and fly, you know, every single video. That's just not me. That's not real life. That's not, that's just not what you're going to find here. So if that's the kind of mom and the kind of videos that you want to see, this, this channel is definitely not going to be your place because this is definitely going to be like real mom, real life. For them, there might be some videos where I have my makeup done and stuff, you know, especially like sponsored reviews. I don't want to look like this. But in other videos, especially once the new baby gets here, this is what you're going to get. But the thing is, is I feel like most moms can relate to that. You know, once you have tiny humans crawling all over you 24 hours a day, you don't get to look glam all the time. I mean, like I literally live in joggers and um, joggers and leggings and t-shirts. That is like what I live in. It's and flip flops. That's all I wear year round. And I very rarely actually like on a day to day basis do my makeup. I brush my teeth, my hair gets up in a messy bun. And that's pretty much that is beautiful, honey. I love it. I love it. Uh, wash my face. I use my, but I use my reusable facial rounds and eye makeup removers. Holy smokes. I love these things so much. And I recently added them to my Etsy shop. So check those out if you are interested. But anyways, so yeah, I use these. And, but as far as like makeup, on a day-to-day -day basis, not so much. So I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way and let you guys know to set your expectations <laughs> real low for how I look. Babies and the kids will look really cute. They always are, you know, bathed, dressed cute, in cute outfits. Mama, yeah, that's another story. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I feel better giving you guys a realistic expectation of, you know, me and what videos I'm going to be putting up. So anyways, I am 11 weeks and one day pregnant. My doctor said anytime after 10 weeks, I could go in and have my genetic test done. So it tests for trisomy. I always forget the numbers, 18, 21, and I believe 13, uh, the Down syndromes. And then there's a couple other things that test for, as well as um, some certain genetic issues that are sex chromosome related. So you also are given the option of finding out the gender. However, the test isn't to find out the gender. A lot of people are like, you know, I get to find out the gender, da, 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 da. And it's actually, I mean, it's not designed to teach, to tell you the gender of your baby. Although that is a byproduct of the test, which is really cool. That's not what it's designed for. So anyways, I went in at, gosh, I could have gone in on two, on Friday the 6th because I was 10 weeks that day. However, it was my daughter's 17th birthday and it just didn't happen that day. So I ended up going in on Monday the 9th. So I was 11 weeks and three days pregnant. And they told me the results would be about a week. Everything I read online said, I mean, some people got their results in three days and most people got them in a week. Um, the thing is, is this is something I knew very, very little about, but apparently you get to, um, they told me that you would register online and you'd register your email and you'd set up an account and it's all these different things. And they wanted your email address and your phone number and they I was really confused when I went in for the test because I was like, how do I get the results? And they were really vague about it. They were like, well, you go online and you make this account and then the results get sent to your doctor and then they call you, but you also make this online account. You can view the results on there. And I'm like, so where, where do I see the results? You know, like, just give me a definitive answer. And so apparently you set up your 
account so that they can send you your cost estimate. So that's the first thing you get. And then they invite you to set up an account so you can watch your test being like processed. And so it said that they received my test the day after I took it, which was really fast. I don't know if they like overnight it. They must. Well, that was a, that was stupid, Jessica. Obviously they overnight it, but yeah, they got it the next day and then it was processing for days. Well, for like two days or test, they were testing it or processing it or whatever. And then the next thing it said is that it was being clinically reviewed and there's like five steps before it gets sent to your doctor. And but then just yesterday they updated it and said my test results wouldn't be ready until September 20th. And so to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous about that. Like, why are my test results taking so long? I don't know. Is that cause con for concern? And so I was online. <laughs> I was online Googling the heck out of it and couldn't find any clear answers, like nothing, just people saying that they got their results in a week. So that's where I'm at with that, uh, the genetic test. So first and foremost, I'm just worried, you know, I just want to make sure that everything is okay with baby. And secondary to that, far, 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 far secondary is finding out the sex. But I'm just, you know, right now worried about why the test result is taking so long. And if that is normal, because I was kind of expecting to get the result Friday or Monday, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest, but it's saying like, not till next Friday. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll see, I guess. And so hopefully everything is okay. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a little bit worried about that. Other than that, though, uh, my morning sickness has really kind of abated. I definitely hit like a huge rut in like the late evenings as far as energy level. I'm fine all day and I'm fine for the rest of the night. But in the evenings, there's a couple hour period, like a two hour period where I just am exhausted. Like I can barely even put one foot in front of the other. But I found if I take a nap, I wake up just feeling even worse. I wake up feeling groggy and I have a horrible headache and I just feel terrible. And so I just kind of try and fight through that tiredness every evening and it sucks. It's It sucks really bad because it's like either be exhausted or take a nap if, the, if I can, if the kids allow me, but it, take a nap if I can and then wake up and feel usually even worse than I did before. So yeah, definitely with the tiredness, um, I've been craving, I've been craving a lot of the things that I crave when I'm pregnant with boys, pickles and chocolate, peanut butter, ice cream, lots of salty stuff, not so much sweet stuff other than the ice cream, but lots of salty stuff, chips and crackers, and lots of salty stuff. But we have a fetal Doppler, and so I use that occasionally at home to check on baby. I try not to use it a ton, but I do use it occasionally. And it baby's heart rate, and at the doctor's office too. But every time we hear the heart rate, it's in like the ones, it's always in the 170s. So that kind of indicates a girl, and but all my symptoms are kind of telling me boy. Uh, and then Gunner keeps referring to the baby as a she and and I apparently my husband says I've been referring to the baby as a she as well so but I don't even recall doing that but apparently I have uh, I'm even bigger than I was before belly wise but I don't think I've gained more weight I gained 10 pounds really really fast at the beginning but I don't think I've gained more weight um my skin is broke out a little bit. My hair should be growing like crazy, but instead I'm losing hair like crazy. So that's got me a little, little concerned. I haven't been as hungry. I was super, super hungry in the beginning. Haven't been as hungry. Uh, mood swings a little bit, a little bit of like irritability and stuff. Definitely peeing a lot. 
definitely emotional. A lot of things make me cry easily, you know, especially like TV shows and commercials and stuff like that. Like I was just watching the third season of 13 Reasons Why tonight. And when, well, anyways, there's a scene in there and it made me cry. And I was just like, holy smokes, Jessica, <laughs> pull it together. But that's pretty much everything. There, I don't know, not a ton going on. I have had several people inquire if we have a registry or anything set up, or if there's any way that they can send gifts. And so I just wanted to, first of all, say thank you so much for thinking of us and thinking of our family and our baby. We appreciate it so, so much. And second of all, I did set up a reg or a uh, wish list or registry, whatever, through Amazon where people can view it publicly, but it doesn't release our address to the general public. And so if you would like to send a gift or are interested in that, I am going to save all of the presents and I'm going to actually, it was actually a subscriber who suggested this. So thank you so much for your suggestion. I am going to save all the presents and then I am going to open whatever I get, whether it's one or 20 presents. I'm going to save them all and open them for a video, like a video baby shower. So that will be really, really fun. So anyways, if you'd like to send something, there is a link in the description box below. Now I'm going to show you my belly really quick because I have to pee and I'm going to wrap up this video. So thanks so much for your patience with me and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe if you are new here, if you like cloth diapering and reusable products, things like that. If you like parenting and pregnancy videos, pregnancy updates, and if you like watching a real mom because that's what my channel is, a real mom channel. So if you like any of those things, I would love to have you. And so now I'm going to finish up with showing you guys my enormous 11 week belly. Okay. Here, as you can see, my belly is enormous. I wish that I had something to like show you in relation. Like here's my hand in relation. I just have a huge belly. There is my belly. Anyways. Okay, guys, there's my belly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.